Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for February. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for at any time in February. Um, this is going to be you and the other person, so you pick a side. Even if I say that this is your side, and this is your side, <laughs> you know, I don't want to hear any comments below. It's reversed, okay? Because, I mean, that's just stupid. Uh, no offense. I'm lie. I, I, it is. Especially when there's two sides. Okay? So, let's just see what we got here. And I'm not saying that you guys are going to do that, but I've received it. I've, se I've seen it on the other ones. It's like it's reversed. People are right, and I'm like, what? What? Do you not get it? Anyhow. So over here, we have somebody that is trapped. Somebody that's trapped in their head, trapped in their thoughts, trapped in their mind, trapped in a situation that they can escape from, but they're choosing not to. Um, probably wanting to take action, needing to take action, and maybe maybe somebody is going to take action. Now, this is the Knight of Wands. This, this is... Um, You know, I need some more cards, but I feel like this person wants to move, wants to make a move, but isn't. Their head is not allowing them to make a move. It's like they have this desire. So this person on this side has this desire. It's like their desires aren't being met. And they have this desire for something more passionate. And perhaps somebody has entered the scene that is more passionate, that is more attractive, that, you know, is more exciting. But this person just can't seem to escape from their own thoughts. So we do have somebody over here that really, it feels like there's a new exciting opportunity. But choosing to stay in a situation that, you know, it's comfortable, but it's not. Somebody's letting their worries get the best of them. This person over here, somebody that you are dealing with. Now, this person may be holding on and staying in the situation just for the stability of it. Doesn't want to be alone. Now, the Three of Pentacles is togetherness, working together, um, trying to prove something. We have somebody here that is trying to prove something. We have a very stubborn individual that is holding on to something just for the stability of it, really. But this person over here is expecting trouble. They are expecting trouble. This person doesn't want to be alone. So if you are in a coupled relationship, I feel like we have one person that want that ha that that probably has a new opportunity that is more exciting, but they are hold they got somebody that is holding on to them that is holding on just because they don't want to be alone and because it's stable. It's stable. So this person is holding on for the stability. This person sees another opportunity but can't move forward because they're trapped in their thoughts, trapped in fear. Trapped in fear. Definitely trapped in... We have somebody here that is trapped. This is probably you, Aquarius. This is you that is trapped in fear. It's like you have to... Be strong. You have to make a decision. You have to be decisive here. You need to, you, it's like you're trying to make the most logical decision, right? It's, it's most logical to stay where you're at, right? That's what it is. It's like, I don't want to make any impulsive moves. So you're trying to be logical. You're not following your heart at all. This person is not following their heart. Let's go back over here. Now we have the Emperor reversed, the Judgment reversed, and the Hangman reversed. These are all majors. <coughs> this person is expecting trouble. Um, 
but they still are, but they're expecting trouble. They, they're, they're suspecting something. Put it that way. They're suspecting. They're, they're suspicious. This person is suspicious of this person. This person is very controlling with the emperor reversed. It could get angry very easily. Very dominant. Extremely dominant. Likes to be the boss. Definitely is not in it for love either. In it for the stability. So we got somebody over here is in it for, you know, the assets or the stability of the relationship. Um, this person is... Uh, having a hard time they're having a hard time letting go of this person it's like this person knows the person over here knows they do but they're ignoring it they're ignoring the truth they're ignoring the fact that this person wants out they know this person knows this person is hanging on for dear life they're hanging on for dear life it's like because this person this person is hanging on for dear life because this person's taking care of them. And this person is taking care of them because they're trapped in fear. They're trapped in fear of of uh, following their heart. It's really hard to follow your heart when you're comfortable. Even though this is like uncomfortably or comfortably numb, okay? This person is, is numb to the situation. It's been so long, right? You've been trapped in this situation for so long. We do have somebody here that is a tyrant, and, it could, and that could be part of the fear. This person may be fearful of this person's energy. This person can get angry really fast. Um, this person is corrupt. This person is power hungry. This person is very entitled. Mean. Okay, this person can be very, very mean. Um, this person is not going to let go. Because they don't want to be alone. Okay? This person doesn't want to be alone. And they know that they have control. This person likes the power, likes the control over this person. This person is under a lot of social pressure and being controlled by this person. This person is being controlled by this person. This person um, is probably not wanting to deal with a divorce, not, knows that a divorce or a split will, need, will be needed, knows that they will need to be assertive, knows that they will need to speak up because they know that this person is not going to do it. The part, you know, this person over here knows that uh, this person is weak, okay, this, and sees this person as weak. Strength reversed is weak. So this person sees this person as weak, okay, and knows it, knows it, knows that they can control this person. Okay, so the person on this side is completely in control, and they know it, they know it. We have, I think this is the feminine over here. It doesn't have to be. We have somebody that doesn't know their value. Somebody that doesn't want to deal with their pain. Somebody that um, isn't ready to deal with the pain. Somebody that is, you know, not taking very good care of themselves. And, and whoever they're dealing with doesn't value, doesn't value them. Therefore, there's lack of self-esteem, there's lack of self-worth, there's lack of self-value. This person over here um, doesn't love themselves enough to honor their own truth. But they have another opportunity that has sparked their interest. This person doesn't even know their own value, doesn't even know their own worth, doesn't even know their own beauty. They're under so much social pressure to stay in this commitment that they're sacrificing their own happiness. This person sacrificing their own happiness. It's definitely not love because there's no love on either side. There isn't. 
It's like these people don't even love each other. But the social pressure, and this is the social pressure and being controlled by this authoritative figure over here. I'm telling you what, the social pressure is so great. It's huge. Fear of what everybody is going to say. Perhaps there's a mother here that is worried about what her children are going to say. Do you want your children or a mother or a father, okay? Do you want your children to stay in a relationship that they are not happy in? Is that what you're going to teach them? And, you, and your daughter could be repeating the same mistake. This is a mother that is not being a very good mother. She's not setting a very good example because of social pressure. Anyhow, I think that we have somebody here that needs to speak the truth, needs to speak up. So I think this person on this side is needs to take action. They need to cut themselves free of this situation that they have been trapped in. They're going to need to face their fears. They're going to need to deal with this social pressure. They're going to need to deal with the pain. So this person is suffering. We have this person over here that is suffering in pain in a situation that they are committed to. Um, and, they're, and the reason that their only reason that they're still committed is because of fear of what everybody else is going to say. <laughs> it feels like this week this is taking action. Suddenly taking action. Now, if you are single, this could be a sudden arrival. Somebody could suddenly arrive into your life. This person um, may be coming to help. Maybe they've been brought to you from above to help you break free from this situation. The God, higher power, will use somebody as a catalyst to wake you up. To break you free from a situation that is uh, hurting you. Okay? So I feel like this person over here is in a situation where they just can't find their strength. They can't find their willpower to face their fears and move on. But perhaps this week they start talking. They start speaking up. They start speaking the truth. And, and you know, that's what this is about. So this person may, be, may take action and speak up and do the right thing this week. Do what's right for them. So this person may speak up. This person over here is, is greedy and selfish and mean. Okay, very mean. Very mean with the emperor reversed. This person is not awakened. They need to go through a spiritual awakening. The only reason they are hanging on to this person is because of the stability of it. the at, What they can get from it. They don't want to let it go. There's no love here either. This person is suspicious that this person wants out. But right now they know that they are in complete control with that emperor reversed. This person is going to continue to be mean. And they're going to continue to abuse their power because this person allows it. They don't see this person as weak. This person over here is not going to let go. This person is going to have to make the move, make the decision and speak up. This person's not going to do anything because right now they are enjoying their power. Walking away. Walking away. Oh, bound. We got somebody here that is bound to a toxic situation. This is a toxic situation right here. Very unhealthy. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Don't have to be. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or an Aries. But we have a toxic, unhealthy situation here. We have somebody here that is very materialistic as well. And somebody may be hanging on just for the sexual reason, reasons. There's definitely greed and there's definitely obsession here. We have somebody here that is obsessed. This, pers this person right here is definitely not happy. This person just doesn't want to be alone. But perhaps this person takes action and forces this person to be alone. Hermit. 
Interesting. I don't want to be alone. This is the, I don't want to be alone. This person doesn't want to be alone at all. Doesn't want to be, this is a uh, midlife crisis. I, I don't fear of growing old alone. The hermit reversed. This is sadness. This is loneliness. This is paranoia. We do. This person is paranoid of being left alone. And therefore they are, it's like, if you think about the devil, the devil, this person will do anything, scheme, trick, lie, deceive, do anything to keep this person bound, to keep this person stuck to them. So we have a very uh, manipulative individual over here that is obsessed with holding on to this person. This person is toxic. They really, really are. They are the martyr. No matter what you do, you are the one that is wrong. This person is in the wrong. This person is never wrong. This person is going to try to keep this person tied with their, with their wicked ways for as, forever if they can. They're trying to force it. This is like slavery. So anyway, I feel like uh, it's time for this person to take action and speak up and break free from these these this situation that is so unhealthy. This person has addictions and they may even have a sex addiction. They have some sort of addiction. And they're very sneaky. This person is sneaky. So anyway, Aquarius, I feel like this week, if you are single, you may have somebody new coming into your life. But you're going to have to let go of your fear. Okay? this is We have somebody over here that is very fearful. Be careful because this person over here may be very attractive, but they are all they are not all that they are cracked up to be because that's what the devil the devil is ruled by the shadow all is not as it seems. This person over here may uh get you in if you're single, this person could get you in bed and then leave you. Okay, they're narcissistic. Okay, they're 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 a mean, angry person. They're shallow. And they just they come out for a minute to get laid or whatever, and then they go back into hiding. So just keep that in mind. If you are single, this person, you know, and they are this person is very much a hermit. Very much a hermit. It's like they 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 want to be taken care of, and they want to they want to uh, get all their needs met, but they don't really really want to socialize. They don't really want to do anything, you know, other than be taken care of by this person. Anyhow, I feel like this week there probably is going to be some movement because of the chariot card on the bottom. So I think there is going to be some movement. I feel like this person is going to take action because the Knight of Wands takes action. And then the King of Swords speaks up. And it's it's like, you know what? This isn't this is not it's just about the truth. It's about the facts. It's about the the reality. There's really no love here. So we could have somebody that speaks up this week and decides to cut themselves free from this situation. This is mastering your emotions, taking the lead, finding the discipline and the willpower and the strength to make a move. So I feel like there is somebody that is going to make a move. Whoever you are dealing with over here is unhealthy and toxic. They may look good, but it is very unhealthy. This person is a master manipulator. Master. They've got this person wrapped right around their little finger. So fearful. This person is so fearful. And this person knows it. And they love it. They love the, They love to have that control. Um, 
If you are single, you can meet somebody at work. This person may look really good. I would say don't do it. Don't do it. So my advice, Aquarius, if you are this person over here, know your value, know your worth. Protect yourself from this person. Good luck.